Welcome back to Seven Feathers Casino Hotel and Resort. We're inside the casino kitchen with Chef Mark. Mark, I see some beautiful meat on the table today. That is correct. This is K-Bar beef. And K-Bar beef is the best. It is the best. Uh, our, one of our ranches is right here in Myrtle Creek, and then the other one is down south in, in Medford. And let me tell you what we have just sitting in front of us, JR. Oh, my. It is our New York beautifully marbled ribeye. Okay, quite amazing. On this one here. That looks like a, a tomahawk? This is a tomahawk chop. Dinner for two if you want to come, and we carve it table side. I'd love that. A lamb chop, and that is a ribeye? That's a ribeye. It's a bone-in ribeye. Let me hold it up. This is for meat lovers. Let me tell you, this is amazing. This lamb, Umqua Lamb Company, that is right down the street also. So it is a local product also. Very very tasty. We could talk for hours about the K-Bar restaurant. Special occasion, just about any time. Very, very world-class, and it's right here in Canyonville. Now, what do we have here? This is a yucca root. If you ever spend time in the desert southwest, I did a lot of work in Arizona, it is something that you would see in Spanish cuisine. Uh, down in Miami, we use it a lot in mashed potatoes. You can make potato chips. You can make french fries out of it. But you got to remember one thing, you got to make sure you get all the way down the core. Get all the way down. Because if you don't get it, you're going to see that it's very waxy. Okay, you want to get down. The secret is, this is what it looks like here. We cut it, we steam it, then we're going to cut it and make french fries out of it. Okay, and then when you take it out, we season with salt and pepper. We're also going to make a homemade chimichurri sauce. All right, let's get to okay, it. Okay, so in the blender, parsley, cilantro, and what do we need? Garlic. All right, garlic, a little bit extra. This is for everybody from back east. Chalets. Chalets. Done. One chalet is enough. Okay. And remember, you always got to season it. And what were the greens again? Cilantro and flat Italian parsley. Okay. You can put anything in there. Don't give me a lie. People put greens to get a really dark color, but you don't really have to if you have your ratio of greens, what you need. Cilantro is a great one, but it's very weak. Okay. Flat Italian parsley is going to give you the green. Red wine vinegar. Weep. Vinegar always goes in before always the oil. Always goes in first. Finished product. Jimmy Chard. Done deal. So you mix that together and this is going to be the sauce, the topping for the steak? For the steak or you can serve it on a dipping sauce if you want to have your yuca on the side. You can have yuca fries with chimichurri. Coming from South Beach in Miami, chimichurri goes on everything. The yucca fries. So here is our finished product on yucca fries. Okay. Oh my, look at that. Take a look at them. They're quite amazing. Toss it with a little oil. Shine them up. Make sure you season them. This is another reason you want to come to the K-Bar. Something special, something different. Try something different. The chef has traveled the world over and he brings some of these recipes to us. And the other beautiful thing, as we've talked about, a lot of local flavor, whether it's the beef coming from right here, the fish coming from the ocean, exactly. or your own farm right here in town. Down the road, New York steak grilled, okay? When you cook a steak, medium rare. If you cook an internal 120, 17% carryover cooking, that means the steak is 137 degrees. You might overcook your steak. Don't be afraid to pull the steak off a little early. It will continue to cook and let it rest a bit as well. Oh, look at that. And what you do is knife 101, JR, done deal. Line it up. You're, you're done. Presentation is everything. Take your yucca. There's our fries. Take your fries. Don't be afraid to build building blocks. 101. You're done. And then chimichurri. Again, giving your steak just a little something extra. Oh, look at that. And this is on the menu as we talked about everything on the K-Bar menu as well. Whatever you see here is on our menu, K-Bar. And it was a brand new menu. We have a brand new menu also coming out in a few weeks, but we are not changing our steaks. Beautiful, right here at Seven Feathers Casino Hotel and Resort. Another edition of the Casino Kitchen with Chef Mark. I'm JR Jackson, thanks for joining us. Thank you.